In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to delete a Microsoft Loop workspace. This is a straightforward process, but it's important to ensure you're ready to remove the workspace permanently. So, grab a cup of coffee, settle down, and let's dive right into it. First, you'll want to open your preferred web browser. It could be Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or whichever one you typically use. In the search bar, type in Microsoft Loop and hit Enter. It's important to choose an official site to ensure you're accessing a legitimate page, so look for the website with the official Microsoft branding. Once you've reached the site, you'll need to sign in using your Microsoft account. Make sure you have your login details handy, your email and password to speed things up. If you're already signed in, it might take you straight to your dashboard, but if not, simply click the Sign In button and enter your credentials. Upon entering your Microsoft Loop dashboard, you'll see a list of all your workspaces. To find the one you wish to delete, hover your mouse cursor over the workspace. As you do this, you should see three vertical dots appear, commonly referred to as the More Options button. This is where you'll find additional actions you can perform on that particular workspace. Click on these three dots, and a drop-down menu will appear. From this menu, you'll need to select the option labeled Delete. Now, this is a crucial step, as choosing to delete means you're on the path to permanently removing the workspace, so take a moment to double-check that you've selected the correct one. After you've clicked Delete, a confirmation dialog box will pop up. The purpose of this dialog is to ensure that you're certain about the deletion. This is standard practice to prevent accidental deletions, which can be incredibly frustrating. Read through the confirmation message carefully just to be absolutely sure. If everything looks good and you're ready to proceed, you'll need to select Delete once more in this dialog box. And there you have it. You've successfully deleted your Microsoft Loop workspace. Keep in mind that this action is irreversible, meaning once it's gone, it's gone for good. So always make sure to double-check everything before confirming the deletion. If you're managing several projects, it might be a good idea to have a backup of any essential data before proceeding with deletion. Thanks for joining me today in exploring this process. Hopefully you found this walkthrough clear and helpful. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a wonderful day and happy organizing.